Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Node.js on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Node.js and the first link which will appear here will be from nodejs.org. So we are going to click on this link. And once you uh, reach to the main web page of uh, nodejs.org, you will see uh, two versions. First version will be the LTS version and the other version will be the latest and greatest current version. So I'm going to download the LTS version because support for uh, this will be longer. So I'm going to click on 18.15.0 LTS which is the latest version at the time of making this video. So let me click on this button which is going to download this MSI file. And once this file is downloaded, let me just click on this file and let me minimize my browser. And you will see this kind of window, which is the Node.js setup window. So I'm going to click on uh, next here. And this is the license terms and conditions. Just check this checkbox and then click on next. This will be the default location where Node.js will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. And at this point also, you can just leave everything as default and then click on next. Here you can uh, see tools for native modules. So here, if you check this checkbox, it's going to automatically install the necessary tools. And also uh, it says note that this will also install chocolatey. And Chocolatey is a very good utility which allows you to install various different tools on your Windows operating system. So if it uh, installs Chocolatey, it will be uh, good. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to check this checkbox and then click on next. And then click on install here, which is going to install uh, uh, Node.js. But first of all, you will see this kind of prompt which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I will click on yes it starts the installation and it will finish the installation really fast so just wait for a few seconds and after some time you will see this message which says completed the node.js setup and node.js has been successfully installed so i can click on finish and node.js is installed on my windows 11 operating system now here there is this uh, command prompt which is open i can press any key on my keyboard and here it's going to install the additional tools because I have checked that checkbox to install the additional tool for node.js and then I will click on yes which is going to start the process of installing those additional tools in the meantime uh, those additional tools are being installed we can even check the node.js installation so I'm going to just uh, click on the search icon or I can just click on the Windows start icon and then click on all apps here and then I will search for node.js I will scroll down and I will search for node.js you can see this node.js uh, uh, folder has been created I will click on this and you can see uh, install additional tool for node.js which is already running there is this node.js command prompt so node.js comes with its own command prompt so i can click on this command prompt and it will open node.js uh, repl and it will open this command line here i can change the properties of this command line to make the fonts little bit bigger so we can see all these commands and i can click on ok and here i can just write uh, node here and press enter and you can see uh, it says welcome to the node.js version 18.5.0 which is the version which we have installed you can also write uh, console.log and then log a message here for example hello world here and then close the parenthesis and uh, then provide the semicolon and then press enter it prints hello world which means that Node.js is working fine on my Windows operating system. You can even open the Node.js in your command prompt. So I can just write CMD in the search option here and then click on the command prompt. And then 
I will just type node and then press enter and it also opens the node REPL. REPL stands for read eval print loop which is nothing but uh, this interactive session uh, where you can give the node.js commands and get the output right. So I can just say cost a is equal to 10 plus 20 and it will give me the answer when I just uh, ask for it. So I just write a and it gives me 30 right. So this is also working. So you can use the native command prompt or you can even use node.js command prompt or you can use the PowerShell on your Windows operating system. So I can again search for PowerShell. Let me just open PowerShell and in PowerShell also this will work uh, in a same way. So let the PowerShell open and once that opens I can just write node and then I can just uh, write console.log and then hello for example and it prints hello so you can uh, use uh, the node uh, REPL from your powershell command line or uh, the tool which comes with node.js also you can see it's installing the essential packages for uh, uh, your uh, node.js and uh, let this window uh, be opened until this command is finished uh, but these are the additional tools, right? Node.js is already installed on our Windows operating system. Now, let's say you want to create a Node.js uh, server, very simple server to test whether it's working or not. So, go to any folder where you want to create your uh, file. So, I'm going to create my file in documents here and let me create a new folder with the name uh, test for example right so generally when you write node.js code you use some kind of ide or editor for example visual studio code or uh, atom editor or any other uh, ide which uh, is uh, specifically made for node.js uh, code but for now uh, let's say if you don't have anything then also you can test uh, node.js application so go to the folder and then right click and create a text file. So I'm going to create a new text file here. And right now I can see that there is no extension uh, visible for this file. So here you can just click on this view option and then click on show and then click on file extensions, which is going to show you the file extension. Right now it's a txt file. Let me just uh, rename it, for example, test. And the extension I want to go give here is .js file. So test.js and then click on yes here, which is going to create this JavaScript file. And then you can open this file using any editor. I'm going to open this with, uh, let's say notepad and then click on okay. And then I'm going to just uh, copy the very simple node.js code which is even available on the node.js.org uh, website this is the simple uh, server which you can create uh, in node.js so i'm going to just copy this code and then paste it here and then save it and then close this file so once your javascript file is created just copy this path and then you can open the command prompt or PowerShell or any uh, other tool. So I'm going to open the command prompt here. And then I'm going to CD inside this folder. So CD and the path you have uh, copied, just paste it there and then press enter. And here you can just write node and the name of your file. So my uh, file name is test.js. I'm going to provide that and then press enter. And it's going to uh, start the node.js server because what this code is doing inside this JavaScript file is it's just uh, creating a very simple Node.js server and it's running it on port 3000, right? So when you open this URL, which is essentially localhost uh, uh, at port 3000, so let me just go to the browser, open this uh, URL 
it's going to show me hello world here okay so our node.js uh, is working fine and uh, now you can start using node.js on your windows 11 operating system so this is how you can download and install node.js on your windows 11 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video